What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video of Pan Official and Tank. Um, I didn't really get a chance to shoot an intro when I went fishing last, um, so I'm having to shoot, shoot it after the fact, which is whatever. My GoPro died, and I'm just having to make do with what I what I can. I know it's a little. Let's see if I can get some light. All right, there we go. Um, shooting it on my Mac, so bear with me. Um, I went to Lake. I know it's been a while since I fished. I mean, I posted a video. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, what's going on with channel? I'm still doing it, duh, duh, whatever. Uh, it's still going on. I've just been crazy busy. Uh, I have a one year old and about to be a four year old. Um, just a bunch of stuff going on. Work schedules, and my four year old is about to uh, start ballet. My three year old, about to be four year old, is about to start ballet and, and singing and dancing and play, playing sports this summer. So. Um, I'm <clears throat> just to give it out, <clears throat> just to give an outlook of what the channel's looking like. I'm probably only gonna be able to post one video a month, as I'll probably be able to go fishing maybe once a month. Whether what the weather's good, um, and that's even if cutting into the wind, because here in the West Texas, the wind is ridiculous. For those of you who do not know, um, I mean, we could be out <clears throat> fishing in 30, 25, 30 mile hour gusts come out of nowhere, and that's not that's not very safe on the kayak. Um, so <clears throat> I'll try to, Lord willing, I'll get a video out a month. Uh, still, like I said, playing the, the goal of this, this um, channel is just to show local lakes around here. I mean, if you type in, you know, lakes like Greenbelt, McKenzie, and Meredith on YouTube to see um, what the fishing's like, there's barely any. Some people are starting to, to post videos, which is good for the area, but um, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, uh, at the end of this video, also, I, I did participate in the West Texas Kayak uh, Fishing Tournament Series um, down at OH Ivy around March 3rd. Um, I, I had some video from there. I was planning on doing a video from that trip. I just, it was a six hour trip down there and uh, down there and a six hour trip back. And I had fun. It was my first tournament ever. Um, I'll post some clips. I caught, I, hooked three fish landed one my pb which was i <laughs> i um the way you're supposed to do the measurement take the picture of the fish I, i'm looking at these after the fact i looked at these pictures and i probably cheated myself about an inch two inches um on the the picture and you'll see and all that the video it'll show the fish being like 19 and a quarter um it was really probably like at 21 or 20 20 and a quarter maybe i just did it wrong i was so excited and Anyway, lesson learned, um, kayak tournament fishing is hard, uh, it's very competitive, it's fun, um, it's just, um, yeah, um, it was challenging when we were out there in OHIV, the wind was kicking up something terrible, I don't know what the gusts were, were but it was, it had to be over 25, but cool thing about being in the Hobie is I never got afraid once, I was out in the middle of that big old lake and never even got close to tipping over, um, I pedaled, or whatever you want to call it, pedaled around 10 miles that day and never even really got tired. Um, so I had fun. The West Texas people on a great tournament. They had a, a recent one here in um, Allen Henry this past Saturday. I just didn't go because I thought the wind was going to be worse, so I went fishing Friday, which this video is about when I went out to Lake Greenbelt. Um, that lake was, was doing pretty well. I, I ran into... I fished the north end and I, it's crazy just how fishing connects people. I ran into, when I was out there in the middle of nowhere, I ran into a guy who I'd been talking to through Facebook about fishing and kayak fishing and he has a, a native watercraft, a native Titan, and I'm not going to say his name right because I'm not sure if he wants me to, but cool guy, um, seemed like a good good guy. Um, it, was, well, it was his uncle, myself, towards the evening, I went from... From, I went to see what the evening bite was like, so I went from around 2 to, and I got off the water at 8, so I'm right when the sun was coming down. Uh, it was him, myself, him, and his uncle, and some of his other family members, and I was Facebook, Facebook mentioned him afterwards to see what he, uh, how many fish he thought we caught all together out of that back bay area, and it was about 20, 25 fish, so they were all, that water was, was no deeper than 10 foot. I mean, it was, I never came across one spot that was deeper than 10 foot. Um, so <clears throat> they were all shallow, spawning in a flood of timber. And he caught the biggest fish I've ever seen in person. Uh, you know, 
it was about six, we got it on, the, on my scale it was six pounds. When he set the hook, I was behind him and I heard him say he had a good one. And then we heard the splashing, and I thought he caught like a baby alligator, but I knew we didn't have alligators in the area. But it, I've never seen anything make that big of a, a splash ever. And so when he got it up, I was a good distance away, and I pedaled over to him, and big old fat female. I'll post a picture of it. Fat female who hadn't spawned yet, and he, hooked, he caught her on a zoom worm, I think mother oil, and chartreuse tail, something like that. Uh, his uncle caught a couple of threes. I caught... Not to catch anything big, but I just have fun catching bass like I've never caught before, just left and right. My GoPro died, so a lot of fish I caught wasn't even on video. I try to post pictures of them. I had to take some stills. I even caught uh, some still pictures from the little video I did get, so I'll try to post those on here. Um, like I said, for me, it wasn't nothing big, but it was just fun just to feel that feel that 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 fight. Um, also, de not developed, but I also came came across a new technique that I just, man, it's, it was fun. It took me right back to my days as a kid fishing with my dad with bobbers and stuff. And I just uh, drift fished some minnows on this little reel I have, rod and reel I have that really just nothing. Threw it on the back of, um, the back of my boat and just threw it out there. And just as I was fishing for bass in the front, I was fishing for whatever in the back. And I caught um, a white bass on crappie. Uh, uh, in a large mouth on some minnows and that was just fun just live bait fishing um <clears throat> so i'm gonna start doing that more often if i can get minnows but anyway uh yeah so uh, i'm trying to think i'm forgetting anything there's uh, some things in the works also is me and a couple of guys in this area we really want there there's been a there was a, a um, kayak fishing tournament trail out of west out of the panhandle um and uh, I never got to participate in it, and we're not, we didn't have one this year. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to hook up and probably for next season start a panhandle fishing kayak <clears throat> group because ever since I bought my kayak, I've got, I've known there's a guy at my job who has been, who's got a kayak, and he's, he's starting to get hooked onto it. Um, <clears throat> uh, my friend who sponsors the channel through his company, Angler's Edge, um he's always been a kayak fisherman but he also has a boat so he's been fishing a lot of his kayak he told me um <clears throat> just a lot of people man just just wanting to get into the kayak and then also our church got a new um children's pastor from kentucky and it's funny because at all the places <clears throat> to run into a diehard kayak fisherman emerald i ran into him he came down here and moved him and his family moved down here and we talked a little bit at church sunday and yeah, he's he seems like a gung ho kayak fisherman. We're actually gonna go eat lunch tomorrow and talk about it. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, it's it good. We're, we're trying to to get some kind of schedule thing together, um, get some kind of tournament trail together, just for people in the in area, just to fish the local lakes around here. Like I said, we have Greenbelt, McKenzie, Meredith, McClellan, Baylor, and McClellan's really really small, but we could at least have four or five major you know good solid tournaments and then do something you know make it six or something but there's a bunch of different options um a bunch of guys uh who i've been talking to we have some ideas we're just going to throw them out see what see what sticks so um trying to think if we're forgetting anything uh like i said mentioned before uh ch channel sponsored by angler's edge my man eli uh his company he's come out with some new um logos um Check the link in the description. His first clothing line, a um, bunch of new cool decals and new um, new logos for his clothes. Um, for the bass fisherman or the bass person who has a bass fisherman in their family or anybody who just likes to fish. So check them out. Um, I, uh, I'm trying. I know I'm probably repeating some stuff. Stay tuned towards the end of the video. I'll show little clips from that my first kayak tournament. Um, out down at OHIV. Um, I think that's it. I know I'm forgetting something, but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you guys take it easy and be cool. practice this 
sorry, buddy. You're gonna be my test dummy. That deep, didn't you? Finally got a crappie. All right guys, real quick, <clears throat> while doing this video, I realized that some of my cameraman skills suck pretty bad. Um, so I apologize for that. I will do better. I just wanted to pop in real quick and let you know that I apologize for that. I know you guys may be getting dizzy looking around with my head and everything and the camera was, wasn't was angled down on the fish. So I apologize, I'll do better. Here's the OHIV um, tournament.